Hello! Welcome back to the guide playthrough. Um, thank y'all for watching the last couple episodes. Uh, I was very happy to see that some people enjoyed them. Um, on the last episode, I forgot to put the, the, the dust here, even though I specifically said that it was a tool in my mind and I didn't actually update the tool kit to show uh, it, but it's here now. We, we, we love that. Um, <laughs> it might take me a little while to get into the swing of things. Um, if I miss things or if you're just really enjoying the Let's Play, I would very much appreciate comments. Comments would be so good right now because I'm going to be picking at this for a while so I can still change some of my methods. And um, even if the comment doesn't get to me during recording, I will have plenty of time forever to update uh, maybe like a pinned comment or the, 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 the timestamps. Those are forever editable, so we will keep it moving. But speaking of which, we are Tail Cave. All right. Oh, I'm getting a little motion dizzy again. This is weird. I'm just too, I'm so close to the TV. Um, my number one tip for this game is don't don't get too close to the TV. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I tiered those plants up there pretty highly. They're kind of beautiful. Uh, this dungeon itself, though, is <gasps> kind of also a banger. <laughs> um, there aren't many dungeons that I don't like in this game, and if I don't like them, it's because they're really hard, which is kind of a virtue in its own way. Um, yeah, so dungeon. You ever played Zelda? Maybe you haven't. This is different from the Divine Beast because you have to actually remember things. This is different from Tears of the Kingdom temples because they have flair and pizzazz. And I'm going to show you a little bit about mapping them. Press minus to get to your map. It's no shame if you don't know that. You have markers. Yay. Where are they? You don't have you don't have markers. You do have markers. Um we have our four suits from a deck of cards circle triangle square and a treasure chest um i haven't been using these because as i said the beginning of this game you have a lot of freedom in what order you can do things and we're gonna hit a big backtracking pretty soon in the next episode or maybe the episode after that but the next like event is very backtracky so um yeah i don't mark stuff up early game but i will show you my techniques for mapping the mid game which really does save you and i'm going to point out stumbling blocks where like if you don't mark it you're, you're gonna be looking up a different guide <laughs> i mean so here are the buzzy beetles no maybe that's the mario version these are some of the most classic enemies from this game they're very round and they have little feelers and i don't want to hurt them but this right here, this little stone boy, suggests that there is a key to get from this room. Um, once you get a little dinger, it'll ding when there's stuff to get. But for now, you can use ticks such as, uh, tricks such as just looking at where the key is going to spawn. <laughs> that implies it's a puzzle to solve. Never mind, you don't do what I just did, you just lost it. <laughs> but I feel bad doing that, they're really cute. This is truly- I, I'm, a, I'm a Kirby gamer, and this is still one of the only games in the whole world where enemies are too cute for me to want to kill them. It's uh, a burden and a blessing. So these are locks. <laughs> they also suggest that you need to do something. There are rooms where you will not see any hints that you need to do anything, and that's worth keeping in mind. You don't want to waste your time in those rooms. Here's the compass. It is different from the dinger. To omoimas. Um, it's going to show some random markers, treasure chests, and the boss. The bosses are called nightmares in this game. And speaking of nightmares, uh, this dungeon better stay interesting because any moment that I have free time, my brain is going to wander to the fact that an anime episode I've been waiting over two years for is airing in five and a half hours. <laughs> I'm going to be out doing things. Maybe I can find a cafe where I can feel chill enough to like watch anime on my laptop. I mean, it's not that weird to watch anime in Japan, but it's still, is it normal to cry in a cafe? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking about it. We're going to the next room. Um, okay, there we go. The compass is our dinger. I forgot briefly. Do, 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 do. It means that there's a puzzle to solve and something to get. And it's, and it's this? 
I don't think I needed to kill those guys. I think it's just pushing the button. <laughs> um, maybe a key, maybe a beak. It's a key. Again, if you're new to Zelda, or I mean, th these exist in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, but uh, <laughs> small keys are pretty important. And one of the kind of hallmarks that makes these older games feel a bit more memorization based is you often have freedom in where you use your keys. Uh, you can have multiple keys at a time like we do now. You can see them displaying as two key icons underneath our hearts in the top left. And that does give us a bit of freedom in what order we tackle things. There's probably multiple doors open right now. This particular room, um, these are burger worms. <laughs> they look like burgers. You'll see later well, a little bit of a better showcase of their burgeriness. This room has a bit of a side puzzle where you have to kill everything. And I don't love that. In fact, I might even skip it for a mellow percent, but I'm not sure. <laughs> We now have three keys, more than in the entirety of Breath of the Wild, I think. Um, yeah, there is a locked door. There is a locked door. There is a locked door. Three ways to use them. This right here from Metroidvania Enjoyers is a one-way wall, but it's not the type where you open it up afterwards. This will stay one way. So we have to get in here to use that. Um, what, what to do? I don't think there's any one right or wrong way to do this dungeon. What you have to do is mark this thing on your map. <laughs> this is a very weird little guy. Uh, again, if you've played Zelda games, any Zelda game, you know that crooky, crooky, breaky walls are a sign of bombability. And this is one of the most bombable of them all, but we don't have bombs. So this actually requires backtracking later. It's weird. Um, but if we didn't have this weird little guy, we wouldn't have a reason to use our maps much in this first dungeon. So I'm taking the opportunity. Um, yeah, it's, uh, whatever goodwill I've built up so far by being like, mm -hmm, I am a Link's Awakening enjoyer, which I think is one of the more sophisticated things you can say as a Zelda fan. I'm going to throw all that out the window by saying this game is fighting for my favorite Zelda game with the incredible Skyward Sword HD. <laughs> For Nintendo Switch. I promise you I'm a real gamer. I promise you I'm a real gamer. I trust me. Trust me. I am a real gamer, but um I love Skyward Sword very deeply. But I don't really like dungeon backtracking. I just don't get the point. And ironically, my two favorite games both have dungeon backtracking. One is mandatory. Um, although it is to like one of my favorite temples in the entire series, the Skyview Pool. Skyview Skyview Temple? Moonview Temple Skyview? Pool, temple. I have a side blog named after it. Come for me. I don't care. Um, yeah, one Skyward Sword forces you to go back to that place. And in this game, there's just like a side boy. It's either like a seashell or a heart. I hope my my lackadaisical my lackadaisicality is actually heartening and not concerning. Like, oh, she really knows what she's doing. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> she's got no notes. Uh, sorry, those are puzzle friends. Um, no connection to the four suits in our map. They just have their own four suits. I think every puzzle is the same. You just have to time them, make them match, and then they'll disappear. Uh, is that a stumbling block? I don't know. Tell me in the comments if that was a stumbling block for you and you were like, mm, people need to be warned because it's been eight lifetimes since I got stomped on one of those puzzles and I don't know if people get confused. I could see it, you know, I could see it, but it's literally so straightforward once you figure it out it's just like it's just for rupees too i'm gonna say slaughtering the burger worms is hashtag not a part of mellow percent oh okay these are very similar to our round stone puzzle friends they're also some very fundamental building blocks of um, puzzles, but they are a bit more notable in that they often will not be movable. It's a little bit hard to tell, but they are the same philosophy where th a lot of them will have one specific direction where you can push them. And I think I'm actually gonna call this a stumbling block puzzle. Cause like, who the fuck would think to do this? <laughs> yeah, that's a stumbling block right there. Uh, you have to line these up to make a fucking M for Mario. I don't know. There are other times where you have to push things to just like make better symmetry and that's a puzzle in itself. I don't know. But this is a very random way to teach the player that these things are movable. Nothing else in the room is movable. Like you could have had the player push something to get into the section and then you would have learned, but whatever. I do have beef with that because I got something linked to the past for like a month 
because I didn't know about pushable blocks. It was my first 2D Zelda. I didn't know. I didn't know how it worked. These guys are spikies from the Super Mario series. Or maybe they're buzzy beetles. I don't know. What, what, what even is a buzzy beetle? These guys are certifiably too cute to kill, but I, I, I don't have an option. I'm going to make it quick and painless. I'm going to make it slow and painless. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, so push them in the hole. Murder is often the option. So you don't need to mark this. There are not many staircases. Mystery Dungeon fans will know this is a staircase. There aren't many staircases in this dungeon, but, but I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend forming the muscle memory of marking your staircases. I always go through this sequence here. Um, oh, what the fuck? I always recommend doing uh, a pin of heart. The first stairs are the heart, second stairs are spade, third stairs are diamond, and you put one at the entrance and the exit. Um, I don't go to treasure chest often, maybe like one of the last dungeons, but I strongly recommend forming a habit of marking them. Unless it's like super annoying for you. I almost spoke Japanese. It's, <laughs> unless it's like super annoying for you, then don't do it. But um, I strongly recommend making it an effortless habit and part of like what completing a dungeon feels like to you because it is essential to the last couple dungeons. They are not a good time <laughs> if you just want randomly going through stairs fun thing about stairs the game becomes 2d for a minute i've gone numb to this novelty but yeah this is one of the funnier things <laughs> um i feel like other zeldas have done this by now what, what other games would have done it maybe they're in the oracle games i don't know but um this is side scrolling <laughs> and it's mario so we're going further with the marios why are there marios on koholand island i don't know but obviously it's not hyrule Okay, that didn't work. So you can't go down gently onto a Goomba. You have to do one of these. I think these rooms are great. I think they really show off how beautiful the game is. Just look at those rock textures. Not the last time I'm gonna mention it. Fire looks nice, enemies look cute. And it's, it's genuinely fun to just go through and do these. It really is. So this is our heart stairs. We're never gonna walk back here, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you, eat your veggies. Eat your veggies, brush your teeth, mark your fucking stairs, baby. Um. Oh, wait, by the way, these guys suck. <laughs> these guys are so annoying. I think they have little slit eyes in the middle. So, like, they're a little bit, you know, anthropom- Not anthropomorphic. <laughs> Humanized. God damn it. Um, They're so annoying. They move as soon as they can detect you. They're so fucking annoying. But there's one tool we have against them. Rock feather. This is our jump button. And frankly, it should be a jump button. It should just be mapped onto the free shoulder button that we absolutely have in this game. But if we did that, we would almost never use our item slots. <laughs> we would literally almost never use our item slots uh, because you will spend almost the whole game with this thing in one of your item slots. Get used to it. It's just, there's so much, there's so many reasons to jump. It's just amazing. Um, Sword and Shield used to have to be mapped to buttons in the original Linky Wakes, uh, the original Game Boy Linky Wakes. Uh, yeah, this is, I was like holding my breath, like, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise, but yeah, Rock's Feather is partly why these sequences feel so good, because it's platforming. It's simple, but it's, it's fun. That, that, that is a Nintendo W, an uncommon Nintendo W, simple and fun, when it's actually simple and fun. Um, yeah. Hey, these yellow guys suck too. Anything like this pisses me off. They're super annoying, but yeah, you can jump. Can't jump over this, don't try it. But you can jump over one block caverns. And this is where you start to get a little bit of that jank I was mentioning, where like, sometimes you can get places you might not expect to be able to with jumping, because it is not a grid. It's not a grid. But yeah, a lot of people say that the feather should be put on a shoulder button because it's just, you use it constantly. And, uh, you know, the only reason that there's so few items to use is that now Sword and Shield have their own buttons. But, um, I kind of a little bit get the game feel reasoning here. Um, it feels a little bit like jumping isn't natural for Link, which I know is, like, part of what they want it to feel like in any game besides Breath of the Wild Toe Deck. I'm also kind of like a, like a privilege, like it's a special technique to jump. And that's, you know, Nintendo being whatever, but I kind of get that. But moreover... It would be so boring to spend the entire first half of the game with like exclusively <laughs> passive upgrades that like 
get slotted away into your basic movement and have your only items be like the fucking powder. <laughs> Here's a boss. Uh, I don't know his name. It's a bit like a McDonald's mascot and a little bit like an angler fish. I don't know. You just jump over his spike ball and attack him with your sword. It's fun. He might turn evil later in the game. Right now he's just being playful, but he might turn evil. Keep an eye on him. This is a fairy. Very cute, as I mentioned. Very cute fairies in this game. Um... Do you, do you want to scoop I've been playing Link Between Worlds, and it, it does confuse me when I go back between games. There's so many little nuances. Um, set it free anytime you want to be healed. Reminder number two. Reminder number two. Set it free anytime you want to be healed. This does not revive you. It's one of the only Zelda games besides Breath of the Wild Toadic where do fairies do not revive you. It's just healing. And it's useful because there's no potion, but um, yeah, remember that. This blue fellow is a warp to the entrance. Feel free to use it because it also works the other way. But I can't fathom that you're that tired already, <laughs> to be honest. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Speaking of uh, beautiful, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I kept. It's been a long two years. It's been a long two years uh, waiting for this anime episode. Um, oof. Yeah, I, it's, it's rough. It's harsh. It hits a personal place. Came out at a very personal, rough time for me. A lot, a lot of symbolism, a lot of feelings there. I have come to accept that this brutality is ultimately quite beautiful. Like Tail Cave. Oh! No, not them. Uh, this purple Wario Waluigi door requires a boss key because it is the boss door. Or maybe it's a nightmare key because it's a nightmare. Uh, stairs? You know what I'm gonna say. Oh, never mind. Fuck that. You don't need to do this. Uh, we're like done with the dungeon. <laughs> this one's different. Sorry that there's already been an exception, but this one's different. This is the pit that they send you to if you do bad in, in the boss. You look like this guy or this guy there's only like <laughs> there's only like five humans on this island and there's three dead ones here that's like a lot of people statistically die in tail cave <laughs> like this is this is like worse than cancer for maybe village island like that's really bad i kind of forgot that yeah so once you do the sub boss it's already time for oh it's already time for the boss boss um, yeah, this is your store jingy. There's only one more area to check. If you do your due diligence and you have a key to spare. Wait, never mind. I don't have the boss key. This isn't optional at all. Jump. Let him live. Let him have fun. This thing is a door. Technically. Well, no. It's technically not a door, but respect it like one. Da -da -da -da. A nightmare key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knew? Something new every day. Um. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We are so close. <laughs> We're so close to the boss. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you the strategic reasoning behind the events that play out in today's episode of Boku no Hero Academia season seven because I don't like that show. I think that. What they're doing with the Todorokis is weird. I think the entire thing falls apart because you're fundamentally not supposed to like Endeavor. Like I think I think like I just watched Dobby's episode. It's so it, a a the budget wasn't where I wanted it to be. Even though it was like super climax, it did not look that beautiful. I know what the studio can do. I'm a Mob Psycho fan. Um, even at the highest, it was not that beautiful. I am still measuring my expectations about what they're actually going to devote to the scene that I'm looking forward to, but it's like, even if I love this scene so much for the characters that I like that are in it, the characters that they are saving are such bad characters. Like, it's it's so hard to take this show seriously. It's so hard to take this show seriously. Like, there are great characters in isolation. They're awesome concepts that truly mean the world to me. It's such a, it's such a bad show. It's, it's so hard to take seriously. However, <laughs> it's very easy to take this guy seriously. Burger worm. Bzz, bzz, outsider. No time. <laughs> That's your Dark Souls right there. Um, he's in like every 2D Zelda. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so be careful. Genuinely be careful. Um, these fall... These, these, I think eventually these are gonna break. <laughs> They're not in any hurry to break, but theoretically they could break, and you don't want to fall out of the ring here. Because... Okay you're gonna heal. I forgot that Moldworm is actually like the run killer. I forgot. I'm so sorry. Be careful. You only have four hearts and he's like all up in your face. I completely forgot. I mean, I should have known they killed like 50 people, but um, no, if you're trying not to die, like I think I might have actually died on Moldworm last time, which again raises the question why I didn't just reset the fucking game. I was only like 40 minutes into the experience. Um, yeah, I don't know why. They just really don't want you to fall off here. I do love this fellow though. He's like classic. Very fun to hit his tail. I was playing, actually played some Triforce Heroes before NFC or whatever went down. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we found, like, rare Moldorm with my 2D Zelda loving uh, friends, Liz and Amber. And it felt very, very payoffy to see a rare alternative Moldorm as 2D Zelda friends. I kind of want her to come back in Echoes of Wisdom, but I kind of don't. Because Echoes of Wisdom already looks a little bit generic so far. So it's like, if we start reusing bosses, it's like, mm. Like, if there was one Legacy 2D boss, you can Moldorm. Face of heart! I don't think you need me to, to mark this, right? I don't <laughs> I can't think of why. Obviously, you get a piece of heart, or a, a heart container at the end of the dungeon. But I will mark this. The Full Moon Cello. Swamp. A path opens in the blooms. Well, theoretically. Theoretically it opens. It's not open yet. Um, that was one of our pieces of fish. <laughs> That's the dumbest way I could have said that. That was one of the instruments we need to wake the wind fish, and I'm shocked the bird hasn't shown up to tell us that yet. It produces a pure, clear sound. Um, these are beautiful. So these are our big collectibles. There's going to be eight of them, and that is the whole game. They're so beautiful, and I love them. And each one of them plays a different part of one overarching, overlapping song when you put them all together. And that's just so good. I think they're just wonderful. Where's the bird? There we go. I figured you'd be here. Well, I think everything should be pretty normal from here on out. Pooch, that is an instrument of the sirens. Who are the sirens? Wait a second. <laughs> the only siren I can think of is Marin. <laughs> There's only one person that sings and was directly involved in bringing us here. The only person I could possibly fathom having any connection to sirens is Marin, but I won't spoil it if she's evil. Yeah, clock down, direction, go, go north, and blooms. Yes. Couldn't have done it without you, king. Alright. So, I'm gonna make one little detour. Because odds are it's gonna be a very normal walk home. That'll probably be us over there where that kid is. Uh, sunny boy. It'll be us in like a minute. Very chill. Probably playing slot machines or something. Getting just bathed in pieces of heart. You know something? I, uh, I booted up Linky Wake today, and I watched the beginning of episode one enough where I went mur, 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 and sang the intro that when I saw it again, um, I heard my own voice. I, I saw I saw the boo do, 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 and I was like expecting my own singing to start, and it's like, that's not canon. <laughs> that's, that's not canon. This is a monkey. I always try to find a way to engage with him in like a funny, clever way, but there's just like not much to do. I mean, you can make money off his coconuts. Like he's a fun little enemy. He's unique. Um, darn bomb. That's actually pretty dangerous. But no, he's just kind of a dick. Oh, that's a great flower. That's an A tier, A minus. It's like a 94% A tier flower. I really like that one on the roof. So here is the next step in the trading quest. I figured I might as well hit it sooner or later. He's got so many bananas, and me, I really wish I had something sweet right now, so I'm gonna talk to him. 
What is that you have? It's canned food. His name is Sale. For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please. I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can. <laughs> I should have said no. I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think you can hear it necessarily. Maybe it's a different gator I'm thinking of, but there is a meaty thwap when his tail hits the ground. Him or his brother. Munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not fair trade. Well, <laughs> but here's some bananas. Bananas. So this is a trading quest thing. It's gonna take a good second before we can use the bananas, but you do want to have the bananas before you uh, head to the third dungeon. So it's worth doing while you're in town. Pretty room, right? But I probably can go in, splash around. Really pretty room. Yeah, these houses are magnificent. He's got like a nice A, A minus tier house. Goodbye. Since when am I one-shotting these guys? All right, well, I guess I can call it here. Nothing interesting is going to happen anymore. I'm just gonna go to bed at Marin's house. I'm gonna think about whether or not they're gonna add color to a sound-based attack that I've been looking forward to seeing animated for two years of my life. That has a lot of sentimental value. And holy shit, what's happening to the children? Hey buddy, it's serious! Oh really, really serious! Yeah, it is! The Moblins, they came to the village, and oh my god, there's a whole gang of Moblins? It's so for real. And they, they went to the house, and oh my god, the, the, yeah, that house, and you know the one. And they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a bad scene with the, the Moblins. Oh, I know Moblins. Like ham and pork. So now we have chaos music, and oh my god. They got him. It's terrible! Look at how her, look how erratically and stiffly her text box is shaking. That looks so painful. Her text box is just going crazy. It's really like a piece of fruit. Her dress is so wide and round and colorful. Yeah, they took the mayor. They took Bow Wow. I was telling you he's a big guy in town. Now he's gone. I don't believe Marin is aware. <laughs> I don't know how he can sleep either. Oh yeah, by the way, anytime you talk to her, she plays this really nice song that's extremely relevant and it's relaxing and all the animals stop. So that's a way to make the annoying sound go away. Uh, but that song is going to be blasting until we solve this problem, yeah. Um, in the next episode. But the only way I can think of to save Bow Wow is to go scrape grass for a bit in the field and get this super helpful looking shovel. Dogs love shovels, so I should really get this shovel. Yeah, I'm so glad there's a shovel for sale. It costs 200 rupees and it really, really expedites the process of getting seashells. If you have it before, you go to Bow Wow. And oh, I really think it's just gonna be so good if Bow Wow uh, wait, it's like two minutes <laughs> for me to fucking cut all this grass and uh, then when I see him, he's gonna have the biggest smile on his face. He's gonna be like, oh, I'm so glad you took that detour. Give me that shovel. I'm a dog and I love shovels. Also, maybe I'm gonna get the Goomba? No, that'd be a little bit cruel. But I am gonna raise money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise money. There's no chaos music in this house, which is frankly a fucking blessing. That song is so stressful. It does its job great. I think it helps with the pacing of the beginning. It's also just such a fucking stressful banger. Please, 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 please. There's a dog. There's a homeless dog. The moblins. It was a really bad scene. Okay, that really helps things. That's nice. So that's 50 rupees for 10. It's a 40 point profit. Net 40. Yeah, that helps. That will help the dog. He is probably already smiling. What did I get last time? Oh, probably like 30. Rupees. I don't think these have set spawns, but blue is the highest you're gonna get. Someone turn off that fucking song. <laughs> um, blue, blue, blue. I think we're in. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. Money. Oh, thank god. I couldn't possibly have gone to save Bow Wow without this. In the next episode, we will take this deluxe shovel to Bowith Wow the fur. And uh, that's good. This is a D-tier house. I hate being in here. Okay, well, see you next time.
let me save and do our little item upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, update. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do do do. We love the feather, yay. Okay, that is our big, that is our big W. Wait, no, there's more. Yeah, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot that I didn't do an audio for this, but now you can hear me, sorry. Yay, we got the fucking jello. Look how good it is. This bright really holds up. Oh, yeah, that's delightful. Yeah. Okay, so we are one step closer to the champion and the elite four. We have one of our eight gym badges, and that is sweet. Uh, this video is gonna go up and you're gonna see it. Doesn't matter if I say now when, but I think I'm gonna try to make a routine about putting them on like Thursday nights or Friday nights maybe. And that's gonna be it for today. So. Thank you for watching. Again, comment if you need anything specific changed for next time. That would truly be a lifesaver. And uh, peace.